What's up guys, welcome back from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video next match. Cross Balance Cup, last match here in Group A and then we can finally move on to Group B. Um, last two decks, Holy Lightning Shadows, um, Star Shroud Shadows, basically from the OCG versus Spirals, one of the older uh, Spiral lists uh, back in 2017. This should be a TCG list by the way, going second Spirals by the way, as multiple YCS wins. Right. Um, well, pretty straightforward. Spirals don't need an introduction. Same for Star Seraph Shadows, right? OCG build, if I'm not mistaken. Also seeing the side deck, the Maxis and Failers. Uh, Maxis should definitely be going in against a deck like Spirals. Uh, Failer, not too sure about that due to the field spell. So which deck has the advantage? Interesting one. We see the straw poll uh, from a uh, last... Um, video again there will be one in like the top uh, pinned comments feel free to leave your feedback or you know like a vote which deck will win the next matchup but for this one it's it's pretty um obvious most people see that spirals should have the advantage over star seraph shadows um i can feel why well, Spirals do have more options, uh, maybe are in theory the um, stronger deck, it's the more recent deck, power creep, uh, hand traps, again, most uh, important is that uh, Shadows, uh, or at least this particular Holy Lightning uh, Shadow build, um, is not main decking too many hand traps. I don't think they're main decking any hand traps, I, I'm, I'm but maybe side decking a couple of mixies. But yeah, anyway, so uh, Spiral's going second right here in this situation. So, um, well, the, the, the Gofu, it's basically a free Link 3 summon. A couple of options, you could go for Tico Talker, but seeing that uh, the Shadow list has like... Um, it, it's, it's a very trap-heavy build, so it's not really a, a go-second Shadow build with Emptiness, uh, Bottomless Trap all in the main deck, Compulsory as well. Not that great against a deck like Spirals, especially if they have the field spell on the field to prevent the Spiral monsters from being targeted. Quite strong. So that's why I went for Ningirsu, I believe the name is, to basically scrap dragon, pop itself, pop something from the opponent, get rid of the back row. And, uh, well, yeah, that's the thing with Spirals, is that basically any two-card Spiral combination leads to Helix. And, again, that's basically an OTK, uh, thanks to Deco Talker, Spiral Sleeper and Tuff, for example. Right? That, that's exactly 8k damage. So, again, keep upgrading Firewall, obviously, because it's cross balanced cap, you can't... You know, if, if a deck has, has access to Firewall Dragon, you should go for it. Um... And yeah, obviously this is more than enough. The Ip Link, the Double Helix, a Tough and Sleeper again is more than enough to attack for a game. So game number two, post side tech now. Spirals are leading. But um, going second and I do opt to uh, Ash Blossom, the Scepter, I believe the name is. This, you know, stick chair a combo. Um, it was needed because there was already like the chair a one card in hand. So that probably would have, been, uh, or at least could have anything like a Shock Master play. Um... But yeah, it wasn't the case. My hand isn't that great. Um, I do use stuff to like, try to get, you know, like force out the back rows, but um, that's a problem, right? Right, right. Sinister Shadow Games re, um, reshuffling the deck. Yeah, indeed. Uh, you know, like tough normally reveals like the top card from your opponent's deck, and you can keep um, going or have the follow up play with your super agent from the hand, get it on the field, and basically go for your standard Orcus combo. And with that, I mean two spiral monsters on the field to go for double helix. But yeah, the, the Sinister Shadow games. Uh, so two guesses, two lose guesses, and um, I missed. So that's why I went for this like weaker field, but Delta Rose with the Scepter attached it just gives the deck more pops and a draw as well. And this is like this is Holy Shadows at, at its finest. Um, BLS as well, and I believe there is indeed an El Shadow Fusion ready also during the battle phase. So yeah, this is definitely more than enough to a deck for a game. I, I don't think uh, I could have done better here in this situation. So again, going second, I don't think there's a reason for me going first. Uh, since this deck is main decking so many hand traps like Maxis, uh, or, or one Maxi, uh, Maxi, um, Gammas, obviously. Uh, so, you know, if, I definitely want to go second. This is a go second spirals and there are multiple like fields to spiral resort is at three. So I can search out my drone or tough to uh, plow through my opponent's resources. 
So the drone reveals the top three cards. Not really sure. Monster is fine. It gets two spirals on the field. And that's the thing here with like the, this particular shadow build is that it's not main decking too many hand traps. Side decking maybe a couple, a couple of hand traps. Veilers, obviously. Not really sure if you want to have those against something like Spirals. Um, Super Poly is side decked, if I'm not mistaken. Now I see in the hand here. Um, I don't think the, the, the Shadal build is main decking that one. But yeah, again, long story short, this should be an OTK, right? Decor Talker, the, the big red indeed, reborning the... Um, oh, you know, like the standard combo. <laughs> it's, it's, it's basic Spirals, right? Um, again, getting the, the Spiral Sleeper on the field. The Sprite for the extra potential draw. There is the... That's the thing here with this particular build is that Spirals do have access to something like uh, evenly matched, which is bonkers against a lot of older decks with uh, which um, don't have access to those powerful cards, right? And that's something we see from like Master Rule 5 decks. Next game, game number four. Uh, again, going second. The Ash Blossom was so crucial here. Again, Ash Blossom on the Sinister Shadow games. Um, prevent like a Hedgehog or maybe Shadow Beast for the potential extra draw. But uh, here in this case, um, I'm not really sure which card is set. Is it Dragon? It's, it's, it's a Shadow card, but there probably would have been a, a Winda play. But the thing is, is that Winda, it's, um, it's obviously good against Spirals, but... It's, it's not a game winner. I, I have like, a, a, like there are options to, uh, you know, get rid of Winda, force it out maybe on the potential special summon here. And then, um, you know, something like drones or drone to cheap it itself to pump up like uh, a super age on my side of the field, give it more attack. This way I can attack over Winda. That's like a potential uh, um, play to, you, to, you know, get rid of Winda. But... Um, I mean, it's, it, it's, I, I just want to say, it's, it's not the game winner, Winda, right? But I, I don't think there was a, there was the option, right? Yeah, Ash Blossom definitely came in clutch. So drop the Spiral Sleeper again. Make Trigate life eventually, since I still have the Super Agent life to get it on the field. The potential link play would have been like a Fire Roll Dragon for Deco Talker and the Super Agent. So Trigate would have been life, but it's, um, again, doesn't really matter, right? This is Spiral. Spiral's going second. A, a strong build, even though it's not going through. Other decks were strong as well, like Pepe from the OCG and Invoke Dragon. Master Rule 4, by the way. At the end of Master Rule 4, <laughs> not legal anymore. Uh, but that's how it is. Two extra rules. You'll see why, you know, why, why, why too. But, um, yeah, anyway, so the Gamma again comes in clutch, prevents the Mathematician from going through, that's good, and at the same time, it destroys the Mathematician, so without, you know, triggering its potential draw effect. And, well, this is Spirals, you can't get it more easy than this. Two Spirals and no Hand Traps, and that's game. You can go for eventually t Card Talker, and eventually go for the OTK. Thunder King is an interesting one, I believe it's also a side tech card, but again, it's it's just um, tough bait, right? Uh, spiral tough bait, but I need to hit it, right? Uh, if I don't hit, if, if I miss with Spiral Tough, okay, Thunder King does, stum, uh, does uh, uh, some uh, stuff like uh, prevent the searches, no field spell search, no terraforming, right? So, okay, that can be quite crucial. Uh, it also negates the summon, like the Link Summon, okay, that can be crucial. Then again, you're not going to, you know, Link Summon away your two big 1900 beat sticks, you're just going to suicide into Thunder King, right? But here in this case, I did have the follow up play for the extra Spiral Monster, so again, this again should be game right that that's the thing with spirals going second it feels so strong Pl plowing through your opponent's resources with spiral tough uh, eventually spiral sleeper as well um, hand traps if you're going second evenly matched triple evenly matched triple twin twister so the deck is very strong uh, next matchup we have uh, Epoclee for Towers Turbo, Towers Turbo versus uh, another like big force here in a tournament and that's Pendulum Magician's Electromite Turbo. Okay guys, feel free to leave your prediction, the straw poll, pinned comment, uh, like always feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out, peace.